What's good, my lovelies? Lovely soul. Empress here coming to do the air signs from December 12th through the 18th. Okay, we're going to take a look at what you need to know, what's coming towards you. Spirit, can you show me what are my air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius need to know for December 12th through the 18th? Okay, you got one ring circus. So you're concentrating on something that is uh feeling a little out of control okay i feel like you have to take control of a situation you have spirit of place okay i feel like you're being led as well okay listening it feels like your ancestors okay feels like your ancestors are trying to lead you through some type of situation that may be shifted quickly or there's a lot going on okay you also have follow the leader okay so it feels like you have to take the lead in a situation but i feel like in this taking the lead, it's like spirit is guiding you. Okay, yeah. See, compass is at the bottom of the deck. So, like, they're leading the way for you. Okay, let's get um an astral code. Spirit, can you show me what else do my air signs need to know for December uh, 12th through the 18th? You got a, a, a Scorpio investigate. So, you need to look deeper at something that there could be a smaller detail that you're missing at this time. Okay, with fourth house home, it involves your home life, okay? Anything else from this deck, Spirit? I'm noticing here you got number 15 reduces to a 6. You got number 4. You got number 53 reduces to a 8. You got number 40 reduces to a 4. You got 8 again. And then you have 42 reduces to a 6. So all the numbers are four, six, and eight, okay? So it feels like something is multiplying, okay? Spirit, anything else? Anything else? Last shuffle. Yeah, 12th house introspection. So all that is happening right now could be keeping you very busy, okay? Needing to look at the smaller details that you don't miss anything, but at the same time, as this is happening outside of you, it's also calling for some type of introspection, okay? There could be something that's coming up from the past that's making you realize, uh, you know, um, need, a need to pay closer attention to what's underneath the surface, okay? Six, how sustainability for the long haul, okay? Or for longevity in some way all right so we're gonna take a look we're gonna get a six card spread spirit can you show me the situation for my air signs and can you show me what is coming in for them please one card please what is coming in for my air signs thank you can you show me what is falling away for my air signs please what's falling away thank you can you show me what they cannot see at this time thank you i have a hair that's like touching me <laughs> Um, can you show me what is the truth of the matter, please? Thank you. And can you show me the most likely outcome, please? Thank you. Okay, so um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords. Okay, you could be feeling deceived right now, okay? Or this also could be like some form of self-deception, like feeling like you, things are not going in your favor or if there's something behind the scenes that you're not aware of okay there could also be like some kind of stagnancy or something coming up from the past okay that causes uh you to look deeper at something or why uh why there's a disconnect as you see this couple is uh, not facing each other okay so we're gonna take a look we're gonna go a little deeper you have here the eight of wands in reverse so a lack of communication for the situation or a le at least you could be communicating with this person but it could be a lack of passionate communication with the three of pentacles it is about a collaboration one more spirit and the king of pentacles you could be very much concentrating on your stability and it's not about the passion right now but you also could be dealing with an earth sign okay spirit um, you also have here the Justice card. This is Libra's card. It is coming in for what is coming towards you. Spirit, why is this Justice card here? With the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you are going to get a fair shake in a situation. Things will come into balance. Okay, things will work out for you. But with the Seven of Wands, 
it's like you have to take the high road. You have to put your best foot forward. You have to do the right thing for the justice to come in. Okay, with the King of Swords, I feel like this is your king. You're trying to use fact and logic in a situation to get the best outcome. Okay, you also have here the Knight of Pentacles in uh, the position of what's falling away. Something was moving very slowly and now it feels like something is picking up steam or maybe you thought you weren't sure if something would move forward. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, if you are on a journey towards something and you're trying to get like the final pieces, with this Knight of Pentacles, it could feel like you're wondering if you have to do something alone with this One Ring Circus or if this collaboration is going to go the distance with you. Maybe this person is saying they got you, but you're not, you don't feel that. With the King of Wands, okay. Now, maybe it also could be that the way they take action looks different than, than what it is for you. Okay. Now, you have the Five of Swords in the position of what you can't see. Okay, so this could be you um, refusing to give up or somebody else, okay? With the Ace of Swords, okay, somebody could be leaving something a little cloudy right now so that they have wiggle room for direction, okay? But this could feel like a manipulation to you. I feel like somebody doesn't want to tell you something or expose everything yet because they're unsure about something. With the Magician... You could feel like it's a deception. They could feel like they're trying to leave some options open. Okay. Now with the queen of cups here in the position of what is the truth of the matter. I feel like whatever this is about, it's important to you. There could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio involved in this, but it could be, you know, deeply emotional for you. Okay. And it's coming out with the Knight of Pentacles. You could be feeling like, I care deeply for this person, but they've been um, slow rolling or promising something that doesn't come to fruition. And then you have the Knight of Swords, I mean, the Page of Swords in reverse for the outcome. So something that you feel is blocked ends up not being, okay, blocked. It feels like you have to have a balancing act to make something come into fruition and go your way. With the five of cups at the bottom of the deck, you may not feel like you get everything you want. There goes that queen of cups again. Somebody could cry over spilled milk, okay? Especially if there's a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio involved in this situation because it feels like you're moving forward or actually physically moving towards the 10 of cups. If this was a third party situation, It feels like somebody's getting left behind, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's you. Seven of Swords, Spirit, why? Seven of Swords with the Nine of Wands. It feels like you're waiting on some type of information from somebody. And it feels like they're resisting. And it feels like you have to make some judgment on your own. Okay? And then with the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it really feels like a decision you wanted to know what this person wanted to do, but it feels like you don't have the necessary opportunity to wait. So you have to make the decision on your own. And it, I feel like it conflict, it brings up conflict within you. Okay. And the temperance card, I feel like, uh, you know, you, it's like you have to make your decision and patiently wait to see what's going to be the outcome, but the outcome is justice. Okay, so let's take a look at the Kipper and see what else you need to know for this week. Spirit, can you show me what else do my air signs need to know? You got mature woman at the bottom of the deck with distant horizons. So I feel like you're headed towards some type of stability for you. Okay, you've made some smart decisions. I feel like the question is about somebody else deciding whether they're coming with you in some venture or if they're working on the same side as you. And that could be what you're unsure about. Okay, so let's get a deck to clarify this. You got the mature man out here. Spirit, why is this mature man here? 
with trust and change okay this person you know they could have made you feel like you couldn't trust them or their silence makes you think like you can't trust them okay and with the change here I feel like you're waiting for something to happen you're waiting for something to hit to see some evidence in this person okay with envy there also could be a little bit of competition between you and this person because it feels like you really make good decisions and um this person could be more of a person who waits till the last second. Now you got the house card here, Spirit. Why is this house card here? Can you show me? Balance, okay, whatever it is, is throwing off your balance or the balance in the home because house is there with doubt. You're not sure about the future and it's been causing you some type of indecision in your own path forward. But I feel like you get frustrated with waiting because you have imprisonment here, Spirit, why? And I feel like that's that's because you're waiting for somebody else to tell you, you know, what their plans are. Okay, Spirit, can you show me? We're worry, right? So it's like overthinking, mental prison, right? Eight of Swords energy, right? Then you have courthouse here, Spirit, why? And some, some, you know, some of you, this is actually somebody who is in prison and you've been trying to wait for them. For the majority of you, it's not, okay? With um, courthouse and envy comes back out. I feel like something is final and it feels like it goes in your uh, your way. But with this envy, somebody could be uh, envious of your new direction or this person could feel like they're being left behind, okay? With this privileged lady that's also here, Spirit, why is the privileged lady here? Judgment and loneliness is coming out cross. So you had to make a decision on your own, male or female, and with the judgment card, that is signaling that, okay? And it's like you taking a risk on, you know, being on your own. On my own, why did it end this way, right? So you're not sure and you're taking a risk. You're betting on yourself, perseverance for the plan that you had already started, okay? And you're accepting whatever the consequences will be to that. But I feel like you end up in happiness, but it feels risky to you, right? Spirit, can you show me what is the um, what else does my air signs need to know? December 12th through the 18th, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, please. You got heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and I feel like that's what you're waiting for, to have a discussion. But it may be that you, you don't get this discussion till already after you made a decision. And that could be part of what Spirit is trying to get you to do, to choose your path forward without making it about this person, right? Love yourself first is at the bottom of the deck, right? So you have out here heart-to-heart -heart conversations, calling in your soulmate, engagement, and playfulness. Spirit, why is this heart-to-heart -heart conversations getting to know you even if you were with this person for quite some time it feels like there's a, a new versions maybe of them or of you and there's like a conversation about showing up in a different way and and you know really filling in the gaps for each other okay with this calling in your soulmate and hurtful words you may feel like you're not really getting what you need or like you vocalized it, but you didn't necessarily get it right away. And that could be the reason why you're making a decision on your own because you can't stay stagnant or wait on this person. And with this engagement and many suitors, you know, I feel like this person starts to panic and they may offer you something because they feel like you could get away. And, uh, you know, would um, cause some problem in the happy family and they see you as the divine feminine. So it's like they don't want you to get away, okay? Don't throw it all away. Because I don't want to be the one who's going to have to make you stay. Playfulness, please. With passion, okay? It's like you're questioning, like, how deep is your How deep is your love? Is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to know, right? And here's the divine masculine at the bottom of the deck, okay? Childhood love, there could have been something in this person's past with somebody else, okay? That always kind of stood in the way. I feel like there's something about releasing something. Now, for some of you, you've been together for mad long, right? But there's something here about wanting to revive something. 
okay but this um masculine male or female could have some addictions okay or they could be feeling addicted to you divine protection okay and soulmates okay so i feel like this person doesn't want to let you go underneath the soulmate card was the yes card this person doesn't want to let you go okay and uh i feel like as long as you were waiting you were giving away your power to a situation and it feels like spirits forcing you to make your decision based on your own direction and it's like you got to bet on yourself for this person to pick pick you and it's like if you don't do that then you stay in a loop okay so that's what i have for uh, my air signs gemini libra and aquarius from december 12th to december 18th i uh, just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me and if you're a new viewer and you felt i resonated with you please like subscribe and comment as i'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family i'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings namaste gang gang bye